Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I'm so happy you have joined me today for my third and final American candy tasting video. Well, I hope it's my final because I know that these must be getting so repetitive. I have done three, including this one, so far on my channel and I just, you guys seem to love them. I get the most comments, the most views out of these and I love doing them. I actually like get so excited going to shop for all these candy. So, Let's get started. Okay, so some of these have already been open just because other people in my house have tried them. So today we are going to start with these that look really cool. They are called Razzles and they say first it's candy and then it's gum. They kind of smell like fruit tingles. Oh, they're a bit powdery. They look a bit like medicine. They have pineapple, strawberry banana, strawberry banana, Tropical Punch, Tangerine, and Kiwi Lime. So, this is Tangerine. I don't really like the texture of it, and I don't really like that it turns into gum. I don't know. I mean, cool concept, but I don't think these would be something that I would go out of my way to try. If I was having a movie night or something, I wouldn't pick these, but they're okay, but. Not for me. Um, they smell really good though, and the flavoring is like nice, but I don't really like them. <laughs> so I might give them a 4 out of 10. Next up, these look really cool. They are the Cheetos Puffs Massive Bag. Um, itchy boob. They smell amazing. They smell. I tasted the Flaming Hot Cheetos in my first video um, of Australian Tries American Candy and they were really nice. I couldn't have more than one or two when I was having them so because they were just so hot. So let's try them. Oh they look really funny. They are in this shape. Um okay. Oh my god. Wow. I really like these. The texture of them is so good like they're like airy and like fluffy inside kind of they remind me of the cheese and bacon bowl things that we have here in australia they taste exactly like it but in like a longer version i definitely finished this whole packet by myself so i would give them a nine because they are so good and i would definitely definitely have these again like seriously, there's so much in here. Um, so next is the Mike and Ike buttered popcorn. Oh, is this open already? Yes, it is. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, and they just, oh, they just look like this. Just a little candy. Wow. They taste like buttered popcorn. Cool. I would not choose these again but they're not bad to eat like I would eat this whole packet interesting I kind of thought they'd be either really good or really disgusting but they're actually in the middle probably rate that like a four or five not the biggest fan but would gladly eat them probably a 4.5 let's do that next are these Jolly Rancher gummies upside down <laughs> That's what they, the packaging looks like. They have grape, cherry, green apple, orange war. <laughs> I was about to combine orange and watermelon as one flavor. So grape, cherry, green apple, orange, watermelon, and lemon. Oh, okay. So they look like this. They come in a little plastic bag and there's just a bunch of lemon. The first one is orange. Mm. Considering I don't like orange flavored things, that's actually a nice flavor. Very fresh, even though they are sugar. Pardon me. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what flavor that's going to be. Hold on, let me get something that resembles a fruit. Um, this is a watermelon. It doesn't really have too much flavor. Um, these are the little cherry ones. 
normally cherry flavored things have like the most intense flavor. And I normally really love cherry flavored things like in Starburst and um, other things like that. But it didn't really taste like anything. I'm excited for the lemon one. I hope that tastes like something. You can always count on lemon. Always tastes like lemon. Green apple. Last but not least is grape. I mean, if I can get it out of here. Just a little grape bunch. Ooh, I don't like that flavor. Nope. Mm. What would I rate them? I would have to rate them maybe like a five. They weren't the best tasting things ever, but I love the texture of the gummies. Like, I love that type of texture. Next are these hot tamale um, fierce cinnamon flavored chewy candies and they came in kind of like the same packaging as Mike and Ike so this is what the hot tamales look like this is what they look like so I've seen a lot of people try these um, I'm a little bit scared because they're hot <laughs> um, but I like cinnamon but I'm not sure if I'll like maybe like potentially how cinnamony these are cinnamony <laughs> That sounded weird. <laughs> oh, interesting. So they look like the buttered popcorn ones, but a bit longer and a bit scarier since they are red. <laughs> they look fiery. burns a bit of your tongue but like all you can taste is cinnamon and it's like hot cinnamon it's fierce cinnamon it's exactly what it says that's say true to its name like that is exactly what it, it's not as hot as I thought which is good because I didn't want it to be hot hot but it's kind of just right like it goes away for staying true to its like name, I give it probably a 10, but um, for my like taste preferences, probably like a five, just because I probably wouldn't finish a packet. So I didn't really like them that much, but they definitely taste how they sit out. So the next thing I have here, somebody has already gone into, um, are these Cheetos. They are the crunchy ones. So these have the same packaging, well basically the same packaging as the Flaming Hot ones that I tried in my first video, um, but they don't look to be as scary because they are not blood red, they are orange, they're more like the um, colouring of the puff ones, so I'm happy about that. Okay, let's give these crunchy ones a go. So these are twisties. <laughs> These just taste exactly like twisties, but a bit better. I feel like um, America does artificial cheese really bad, but I like the puffs more. So maybe I'll give it like a seven. Um, I probably enjoy eating the Cheeto puffs more than I would the crunchy Cheetos. The thing is, I really, really love the flavor that the, um, like the intense flavor that the Flaming Hot Cheetos have, and they these have just like normal amount of flavor, so that's why I think I gave the Flaming Hot Cheetos like a higher rating in my other video. But yeah, just thought I'd justify why I would have gotten that um, if you had watched my previous video. So yeah, next up we have the chocolate chip cookie dough pop tarts. Like, hi, nice to meet you. I love you already. This it smells literally amazing. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> I sorry. I'm sorry if I become like a freak when I open Pop Tarts. Like the smell alone just gets me like all excited. Like I love them. But they are so sugary. I was reading the um, front of it before. There is 18 grams of sugar in this one Pop Tart. It says per one pastry there are 18 grams of sugar, 190 calories. 2 grams of saturated fat and 190 milligrams of sodium. Dang. It's a bit scary. So this is what the chocolate chip cookie dough pop tart looks like. From this angle, from this angle, from this angle, from the back, from the side. Mm, mm, mm. So let's give it a try. Q. 
cute angel music, please. This is what's happening in my brain right now. Holy moly. <laughs> the inside isn't that exciting, like, that's my one bite. And you can't really see anything in there. I'd rate that a nine. Just because I'm so excited for the other flavored pop tart I have sitting here in front of me. But that will be last, which is soon. Um, that was really nice. I love pop tarts. I love them hot or cold. Um, I just couldn't be bothered going down to the microwave to heat them up if I'm being honest with you. But yeah, so nine because my one true love. I love tarts. Okay, next up are these Sour Patch Kids Extreme Sour. So I'm hoping with my whole heart that these are actually sour because I hate them when things are like, yeah, they're sour, but they're actually not. Um, so they come in this little plastic bag with all of them in there. I'm not sure if they don't say on the um, box or anything, but they're different flavors for each color. So I don't know if they are or not, but. Boo. There's a bit of sourness in there, but like no more than I imagined the normal sour catch pit. <coughs> no more than I would imagine the normal sour patch kids to have. They aren't extreme sour. False advertising. Bad. It says super sour than sweet, but they're not super sour. That sucks. They're yummy though, I would still eat that whole packet to myself, but that's sad that, that's sad that they aren't that sour because I love sour things. Give them like a six. So last but not least is the grand finale as I like to call it. Are these hot fudge Sunday pop tarts. Just look at that. Doesn't that look amazing to you? So this is us together. Do we look nice? I'm just so excited for this. I am um, not sure what to expect. I don't know what exactly a hot fudge sundae is supposed to taste like when it's combined into a pastry, but we're gonna check it out. Check it out. Don't know where that came from, but we're gonna do it. This is what it looks like. Not very appetizing, but this is it from the front, from the back, from the side. This is us together. Oh, it has a chocolate pastry. So this is it compared to the cookie dough one. It has chocolate. It's it's brown and this is cream. Um, so it has sprinkles on it, it has frosting on it, and yeah, I'm just excited to eat it. Oh my god, the inside has like a bit of the white frosting in there. Holy moly. I mean, I wish they were healthy. That takes the cake. They're a freaking 10. I feel like Pop Tarts will always take the cake for me. I don't even care. You have to try these at least once in your life. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you would like to see more of me. Bye. I love them.